Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Hello, and welcome to the next lesson of IELTS Vocab Trainer. The lesson today will be on education. First off in this lesson, we will look at a different range of subjects you can study at secondary or high school, and also university. We'll look at some typical questions you may be asked related to your study or schooling, and then follow that up by examining some other words connected to education. I will help you with the pronunciation of each of the words as well. So, how many subjects can you think of right now? Can you think of 10? Now, go and grab a piece of paper and a pen. Go on, do it. I will give you 20 seconds to write down 10 subjects. Do you have a piece of paper and a pen ready? Okay, ready, set, go. Time's up. How many words did you write down? Now, let's go through the everyday vocabulary for school subjects. We have languages, such as English, mathematics, or you can also call it maths for the UK and math for the US for short. Geography, history, literature, sciences, such as biology, chemistry, and physics, art, music, information technology, and physical education. Now, I want you to consider these following questions related to study and education some of which you may be asked in part one of the IELTS speaking module. What is or was your favorite subject? What subject do you or did you find the most difficult? Do you usually study on your own or with friends? Are you easily distracted when you study? Distracted, by the way, means to lose focus. Do you consider yourself to be a good student? At what age can you leave school in your country? Remember, for questions such as these, you need to extend your answer by answering why. Give the examiner more details and an example, and try to make your answer an interesting one. Now, can you think of six subjects that you can study at university that you can't study in school? Why don't you write some answers down and I will let you know some of these in 20 seconds. Do you have a piece of paper and a pen ready? Okay, ready, set, go. Business, architecture, engineering, sociology, economics, accounting, law, philosophy, psychology, medicine. Let's go through what some of these subjects are. Philosophy. Defining philosophy is difficult. Perhaps you know of some famous philosophers instead, such as Plato from Greece, Confucius from China, and Karl Marx from Germany. Psychology. Psychology is the study of one's mind and behavior, while sociology is the study of the development, structure, and functioning of human society. Now, I will give you some example sentences containing everyday vocabulary and phrases related to education. We can analyze some words you may not know afterwards. One, if you want to enter a university, you must first pass entrance examinations. Two, students must do well to obtain a place at university. Three, 
If you get into a university, in some countries the tuition is free, while in others it is really expensive. 4. Some students receive a loan, grant or a scholarship to assist them to complete their studies. 5. Students at university are called undergraduates whilst they're studying for their first degree. 6. Most university courses last three to four years, while some are longer, such as medicine, architecture or law. 7. When students finish their studies, they receive their degree. For example, this could be a Bachelor of Arts, BA, or Bachelor of Sciences, BSc. Tuition. This is the money charged for teaching or instruction by a school, college, or university. A loan. This means money that is borrowed and is expected to be repaid with interest. A grant is money someone receives to pay for such things as food and accommodation, usually from low-income families. Grants don't require repayment. Just like grants, scholarships do not require repayment and are awarded on the basis of academic or other achievements. One, in some schools, students have compulsory subjects, while in others, they have electives. Two, Students in the UK and Australia go on to study in a university, but in the States, it is a college. 3. At school, you have teachers and lessons, but at university, you have tutorials and tutors, lectures and lecturers. 4. When a lecturer gives a lecture, the students need to listen and take notes and ask occasional questions. 5. When you complete your first degree, you are a graduate. 6. Some students go on to do higher education and begin a postgraduate degree. For example, a master's or PhD. 7. When people study one subject in great detail, often to find new information, we say that they are conducting, doing, carrying out research. Compulsory subjects are the subjects that we must study. On the other hand, elective subjects are the subjects we can choose ourselves. Electives. Tutorial. This is a period of instruction given by a university or college tutor to an individual or very small group. Take notes. This is to write down the important information. Finally, let's have a look at this task 2 writing question about education. Some people say that all young people should have full-time education until they are 18 years old. To what extent do you agree or disagree with this opinion? To be able to answer this question well, you really need to understand what the question is asking you. To do this, pay attention to the key words. We have Young people, full-time education, 18 years old. So we can understand we need to focus only on young people under 18 years of age. And these young people are in high school doing grade 12. Full-time education here means these students are studying in a regular state or public school or a private school Monday to Friday. Your understanding of the vocabulary in any writing question is essential to you answering it well and staying on topic. Remember that. Great! You've improved your vocabulary and pronunciation on the topic of work, and now we have reached the end of this lesson of IELTS Vocab Trainer. See you soon for the next lesson. Bye!